Falcon 9 is in startup. And there's that confirmation that Falcon 9 is in startup. Next up at T minus 45 seconds, we should hear the call out for a go for launch. All these go for launch. And there's that call out for go for launch. So as we're approaching T zero, it is T minus 35 seconds. Let's watch and listen into the nets and watch this liftoff of T our minus 30 seconds. of our Starlink payload with our planet's sky sets. T minus 15 seconds. Delta 9 is configured for flight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition, lift off of Falcon 9 and Starlink Ocho. Plus 40 seconds into flight, and Falcon 9 has just had a successful liftoff. Successful liftoff from Pad 40 for its first Starlink rideshare, carrying three Planet Skysats and our SpaceX Starlink satellites. Next coming up will be Max Q, and that is the maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle sees, the, the largest structural load that the vehicle sees throughout a set. Max Q. And there's that call out that we just passed through Max Q. Next up will be three events happening back to back, and that will be Miko, our main engine cutoff, stage separation, as well as second engine start or SES 1. Main engine cutoff for Miko is when all nine of the M1D engines shut off and slow the vehicle down in preparation for the next event, which is stage separation. And stage separation is where the first stage separates from the second stage, with first stage making its way back to Earth, and second stage taking our satellites to their targeted orbit. And then finally will be SES-1, which is second engine start, with that MVEC engine lighting up and taking those... Vehicle is following a nominal trajectory. ...and taking those satellites to orbit. Now those three events are coming up here in about 15 seconds. Again, that is Miko stage separation and SES-1. Miko stage separation confirmed. And there, as you saw live on your screen, Miko, main engine cutoff and stage separation. First stage being on your left screen, on your right screen is second stage with that MVEC engine glowing bright red there. On your left screen, you can see those grid fins deploying on the first stage. Those grid fins help. Fairing separation confirmed. And we just had fairing separation. We had a successful deployment of those fairing halves. We'll see if Miss Tree and Miss Chief can make a copy of it. to follow a nominal trajectory. And as I was mentioning, the grid fins have deployed. That helps guide that first stage back to its landing zone.
stage two is still looking good. We're getting a nice bright view of first stage on your left screen. And coming up next for first stage as it makes its way back to earth, it will perform a couple of burns, the first of which will be the entry burn. And that entry burn is where three of the nine Merlin 1D engines light up and slow the stage down as it re-enters back into the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. The second burn is called the landing burn, and this is when the single engine on the, on the vehicle, the E9 engine, ignites and brings the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on the drone ship. And again, we are attempting to land on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you today.